Hello everyone, this is Global Government News. Today is Thursday, June 24th, 2010, and I am Darko. Today uh, in this video I'll be covering uh, just different articles and videos about Afghanistan. Uh, it's been in news lately, especially the General McChrystal's quote remarks, which I don't think anybody has even heard what the remarks actually were. They just say that he, there, he was criticizing his uh, civilian bosses, in other words, the politicians and the, uh, the think tanks and that. Uh, he was questioning their strategy. That's all I've gathered so far on that. It's uh, a little weird, and I guess it's the second commander of uh, the war in Afghanistan that's been uh, changed, that's been replaced by Obama. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of uh, interesting. Uh, but there's other things as as well that have been going on in Afghanistan as long as, as far as the the uh, mineral find uh, that news was uh, well it was news last week when they came out with the uh, story and uh, there's different reasons for why that came out uh, but there's also other things um, such as the Taliban uh, such as the U.S. And intelligence agencies funding the Taliban. And then there's uh, there's also been stories. This is kind of an older story. The troops have been guarding the poppy fields for the for the opium, and uh, just real kind of crazy wild stories. That I don't, I don't, they're out there in the mainstream news, and I guess just most people don't pay attention to it, or they just or they don't they just didn't have time to watch the news or something. But I mean, it's crazy stuff, and uh, I'm going to cover it in this video. So let's get started. This is just a very, very small article, obviously, but it is titled June, Deadliest Month of Afghan War from NATO. And it says, Kabul, Afghanistan, June has become the deadliest month of the Afghan war for the NATO-led International Military Force, an AP uh, count based on announcements by the uh, Alliance and National Commands show 76 international service members have died this month. The total includes 46 Americans, the previous deadliest month for the multinational force was July 2009 when 75 troops were killed. For the U.S. contingent, the deadliest month was October 2009 when 59 service members were killed. And uh, so if uh, most of I'm not sure if most of you are aware of the fact that when Obama took over, the uh, Afghan war actually escalated. So, I mean, this is something to take into account because this was uh, someone that was supposed to be, quote, liberal and a lefty, and uh, who loves the troops uh, and wants to uh, bring them home. And so what did he do, um, Barry of Centauri? Uh, well, he just took the troops from Iraq, most of them, uh, kept a, a small contingency of, um, of army or marines there, built the biggest, they had the biggest build, uh, base built there under Bush, and um, moved most of the troops from Iraq to Afghanistan. That's what the surge consisted of, uh, troops from home and then troops from Iraq. So the troops that came, left Iraq, went to Afghanistan. And um, so that's what that meant. So the war has actually escalated under Obama. And it just goes to show you that he's not um, just a compassionate uh, a, a Democrat or lefty liberal. He is um, just a, a globalist and a puppet. Uh, that last article is from the Associated Press. And uh, this next article is from the Yahoo News blog or newsroom. It's titled, Cutting to the Heart of Obama's Dilemma, Can the War Be Won? And, uh, well, it was kind of a weird article because it was kind of a, most of a vid mostly a, vid a video, sorry. And um, it was someone who shouted out, one of the journalists shouted out, Can the War Be Won? And it was, as, it was right when he was done with his speech and he just ignored it and walked away. But uh, that was the gist of it. And this is from June 23rd. And it says, as President Obama concluded his Rose Garden statement, revealing that he replaced General Stanley McChrystal as the top American commander in Afghanistan, a, rep a reporter shouted an impromptu question, can the war be wo uh, won, he yelled. And the president didn't answer. It says, uh, you can watch the non-answer here, which I already have, uh, but it's not really important. It's just basically him talking about replacing uh, Petraeus with McChrystal. And then you have uh, Department of Defense Secretary there, and then you have the VP over there. Um, but uh, just thought I'd just throw out a little point here about um, General Petraeus taking over for McChrystal is that I've also heard about General Petraeus 
by Webster Tarpley on Russian TV say that uh, Petraeus, I guess, is the uh, uh, the rights or the fake conservatives, the neocons, uh, the Nazis, the National Socialist uh, Party. That's their man, I guess. Uh, General Petraeus, he's going to be kind of their man to groom for the uh, presidential race in 2012. So maybe that's why he they put him there, and then maybe they'll pull out. So that's kind of my little uh, take on uh, uh, just what's going on with that. He could be just been placed there. Uh, you know, yeah, the, the dude made the comments for whatever reason. Uh, it's easy to set somebody up with comments like that. All they they probably do say stuff like that. He's he's been it's it's been uh, said in the media that that McChrystal has made comments like that before. But maybe this is just this time uh, they pulled his card on it because they wanted him out of there, and they put Petraeus in the in the command of the Afghanistan war, the war in Afghanistan, and then. Uh, you know, uh, they they scale down the war, or Obama does, and they contributed to a, a, a General Petraeus's, you know, taking over. It's something that he did, but basically they're just done with it, and they can't do any more with it. And uh, they'll move on to Syria or Pakistan, and uh, Petraeus will be a big hero uh, for winning the war in Afghanistan. And then he'll be in the run against Palin or something like that crazy shit. But it says down here, Obama is trying to stick to a July 2011 deadline to draw down troops in Afghanistan. But the McChrystal flap was the latest setback for an administration trying desperately to regain momentum in a conflict that's grown increasingly harder to manage as it loses public support back home. And they always say that as it loses public support back home. Most people don't even know that there's a war going on, and they don't give a shit. The only people that really care are the delusional um, neocons that are all about war, 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 and then uh, the people that are actually the family members of uh, these troops. So I don't think it's a, I don't think the war in Afghanistan or Iraq's ever really had much public support. They just go ahead and do it anyways. Um, even their own guy McChrystal doesn't even support their strategy. So what do they do? They just get rid of them. Obama's choice of General Petraeus, who is already overseeing the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq as head of U.S. Central Command, will at the very least contain much of the political fallout from a crystal's firing. Oh, uh, okay, so yeah, here you go. It says uh, Petraeus, an architect, I like that, the architect, um, of the 2007 troop surge in Iraq is widely respected by both Democrats and Republicans on Capitol Hill. And uh, yeah, if if I, if I remember correctly, it was that that 2007 troop quote surge that uh, after that they started to take the troops and uh, move them into Afghanistan. That and uh, so that's why I said you know you have McChrystal saying that uh, he didn't need more drones while the the Department of Defense, the Secretary of Defense, Robert Gates was issuing more drones and all that. Uh, he was saying we don't need more drones, we need more troops. And so, like I said, Petraeus will be that kind of person that will come into Afghanistan. And, uh, okay, so now they'll give him the troops, not McChrystal, whatever. They'll give Petraeus the troops. They'll, uh, they'll st maybe they'll, st they'll stave off some bombs or, or, or some bombings or, or attacks or offenses by um, Taliban or militias or whatever, the people they don't want us over there. And, um, yeah, and so it'll scale down a little bit, and even if it doesn't, it'll just go on TV and tell the sheep that uh, the violence has uh, de-escalated and Petraeus is our hero, um, just like in Iraq. So, see? You see what's happening here? And this is a very important point that I would like to make, guys, that I see it over and over again, and this is that type of strategy where they kind of... Uh, where it says, and all the dissension prompted the obvious question, if Obama can't control himself, how can he win the war? So in other words, McChrystal still supported the war. Obviously, he's a general. But they could also have a conscience like Chesty Pooler that uh, stopped a coup of uh, President Roosevelt where they're going to impl um, uh, impl what do you call it, um, put in a fascist dictatorship. But, uh, you know, this guy, Petraeus, could actually be worse than McChrystal because McChrystal would have slowed the effort or got us out of there, and Petraeus is just going to escalate it. So join me in part two of this video series on Afghanistan. Thank you.